All right, this is an email from Suvi. Suvi says, I've just completely given myself into recovery and hard and as shit as it is. For the first few weeks, I had normal hunger cues and felt satisfied with the amount of food I ate, which I now realize after a week of extreme hunger that it was the amount meant for mice, maybe not even for them. I was also exercising out of joy, the hell I was. Well, last week, the extreme hunger hit me and hit me hard. After a week of binge watching and reading all that I could about extreme hunger, mental hunger, I finally have made somewhat peace with myself that it's okay. I just give in no matter how crazy it feels. So I get my extreme mental hunger attacks during lunchtime and I just usually eat everything. It's kind of like I can't control my body. I eat normally lunch, but I already know that it's not going to be enough. So I kind of prepare myself for the binge. Anyway, I eat to the point where I feel sick and physically unable to move and sometimes I feel satisfaction and sometimes I don't, but I just have to stop because it couldn't be, would be physically impossible to eat anymore. Okay, so the question is, should I, after these binges, just continue normally with the day and try my best to eat the snacks and dinner normally, although it could be physically super hard, not to mention mentally very hard. I understand that many have the binges at night time, so physically it may be easier for them to just carry on normally until the next morning. But I get these attacks during the day and nobody and my body can feel so much pain after eating past fullness. Should I still try my best to teach my body to trust that it will have the foods at normal times no matter what, Subi? Well, I think that, you know, with a lot of stuff in recovery, it's just about taking a situation and doing the best that you can with the situation and understanding also that first of all, your brain is going to be hyper aware around you eating food and will exaggerate even feelings of fullness. So I'm not saying that you're not eating a lot of food. I fully believe that you are. Um, I'm also saying that it's likely that your brain will still exaggerate how much you have eaten and your brain will dwell over those feelings of physical discomfort and try and use them as a C, C, C. So your brain will try and draw attention to your physical fullness a lot more than say somebody else's brain might do. So that's just something to be aware of. You know, don't allow yourself to pander to it. Don't allow yourself to wallow in, oh, I ate so much thoughts. Just be like, oh, I ate a lot of food and I'm full. I just, that's fine. And then try and focus your brain on something else. And as far as, say, if it's lunchtime, you eat a load of food at lunchtime, then yeah, it's highly likely that you'll feel physically full but it's also highly likely that when it comes to that afternoon snack time, you probably could eat. I'm just talking from my experience. And it's even more likely that actually by the time it comes to dinner, you could definitely eat. So if you, you know, you may eat lunchtime to the point where you're physically like, okay, I can't even get anything else in. But I bet you within a couple of hours, you'll be like, yeah, I could eat a bit more. And so that's just how you do it. It's about being honest and the mental hunger will be there um, and so you may feel physically uncomfortable, you may feel physically full, mental hunger will still be there. So really you just wait until you actually are still probably feeling full, but not to the point where I can't eat one more thing and then you eat again. Do certainly try and um, eat again at the soonest available opportunity where you feel that you actually can, because we want your body to know that food's coming in super regularly. So try not to take long breaks. Even if you're feeling full, you can have something. I know that that's true. And I often used to surprise myself. I'd feel so full. And of course my brain would be freaking out a bit. It'd be like, oh, you ate so much, so much. And then I'd be like, oh, well, I'll just try a little something for a snack. And before I know it, I'd eaten way more than a little something. So it's just, it's incredible. The capacity that the human body has for food after periods of inadequate intake. It's, it was it's just incredible to me how much I could physically eat. Um, try and eat more in the mornings as well. And you say that you eat your normal lunch and you already know it's not enough. Well, change that. Change your normal lunch. Um, make it bigger. Make your morning snacks bigger, more of them. Make breakfast huge and have two breakfasts. Because although the morning may not be your hungry time, it's evident that your body is really hungry, isn't it? So focus on getting more food in the morning, even though you may not feel like you want to eat that as much then. And then of course, continuing to allow yourself to binge at lunchtime, if that's what your body wants to do. And just keep on the game of, right, as soon as I can eat again, I'm going to eat again. Make it fun. It's like a game of nutrient density. So it's certainly what I used to play. 
especially when I was feeling physically full but mentally hungry. It'd be like, all right, well, what's the most calories I can get on a fork? That's the sort of game I would play. You know, if I pile up buttercream icing with chocolate, pieces of chocolate shoved inside of it, and <laughs> then more buttercream icing and whatever else I could find. I used to play like, seriously used to play the game of how much, how much energy, how much nutrients, how much calories can I fit on a fork? So that that's doing your body the most favors. I knew I needed, the, my body evidently needed the energy. It wanted it, it's all it wanted, it's food, food, food. So I turned it into a game of how clever can I get with this? How good can I get at squishing as much energy into the smallest capsule as possible? Smallest kind of package. And then how many of those can I eat? So that's what I do. Sounds like you're doing good. I hope you are able to give us an update on how things progress for you. Bye.